right? Yes. yes uh, <coughs> so we are actually watching, coming into the ring now, in the red corner, AT Nobler of TJW Boxing and Fitness. And in the blue corner, Kauri Furusawa of Elite Coach Sports Academy. This is our first of two female bouts for this event. Sorry, that's uh, first of three female events for female bouts for this event itself. It's an international fight as well between Philippines and Japan. I'm already quite interesting. Uh, apparently, Kori Kurosawa is a South Korea. So another interesting matchup, which I'm sure Brian is going to point out all the technical details of. Oh yeah, definitely. So you see, right from the start, Katie's already taken the outside angle. It opens up her right hand. The general rule of thumb is that, like as mentioned, you want your left foot to be outside. Although not all the time, you can break that rule once in a while. If your left foot is inside, it makes your jab closer. So what you want to do is, when you're at the inside angle, throw your jab. When you're at the outside angle, throw your straight and left foot. Katie representing TGW Boxing Fitness. You know, TJW means HLA, who is a former national boxer, multi-time national champion, also a 2015 SEA Games silver medalist. He's watching his fighter closely here. Uh, it is making her debut in the ring. So let's see what she has for us. Uh, you can see Katie at uh, Legends Fight Sport and also as you Women's Boxing. He's been training there, training from all the good coaches, TCW, THRW and also the ROA. Good work from Kauri. She's using the level change as a defense also. She ducks down as if she's going to throw to the body. Then. Nice combination. Good three two. Katie's, Katie's consistently taking outside angle, whereas Kauri is more Kauri is more of just you know, taking the fight wherever it takes place. Boy with the jab. Very nice combo. Both ladies showing great composure. This is a good fight. Both of them, both of them exchanging. Showing good technique. It's a bit telegraphed right hand from Katie. Kauri initiating a lot of the hand fighting. She's trying to pull, trying to pull the glove down so she can throw her own straight. I think we have the blue corner uh, being very active, throwing out instructions. Uh, we get a loud voice from the head coach there. Kauri's stance is very big. It's making it easy for Katie to take outside. Oh, we have a hair clip technical issue there. The hair clip has now been removed by the chosen one. What do you think of the, the balance of the ladies, uh, Brian? Oh, really good. I'm really, I'm really liking Kauri's balance. Her stance is a bit baited for my liking, but she's always balanced. When she's, even though she's moving ahead pretty dramatically, but her weight is still fairly evenly really distributed between both of them. It's always what you want. A lot of times people get knocked out or knocked down because they're not balanced. They take, there's no angle for them to take a punch. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, balance is key to everything. That's the end of the first round of our first ladies bout of the day here on Legends Sparring Invitational 2. Katie Nobla in the red corner and Kauri Furusawa in the blue corner. Guys, what do you like about that round so far from both fighters? Uh, very active. I, um, I think I think Katie is pretty much getting get, uh, getting to do what she wants in terms of directionality, but uh, her defense needs to open, her defense needs to be a little bit tighter. She keeps getting caught with the with the lead hook. I think the good thing about both of them, they are constantly engaging. Uh, they are not just taking a step back, waiting for one another. Both of them are initiating things. Um, that's very important. We'll see if they can keep that, uh, keep this up uh, for the next two rounds. What we're about to find out is round two of the 14th fight of the day continues. Katie Nobla in the red corner representing TJW Boxing Fitness, taking on Kauri Furusawa in the blue corner representing Elite Coach Sports Academy. 
Very nice. Cathy is seeing that the calorie keeps ducking down, so she's now throwing uh, her real uppercut. One of the things I like about Kauri is that even while she's ducking, she's also throwing. Like she'll, she'll level change and move her head down, but she'll throw the right hook, the, her right hook on top. Yeah, she mix up her punch as well to the body, to the head, back to the body, back to the head again. You see, because her stance is so bladed, so Cathy has the outside angle, so it's easier for her to land her straight. But because of that, right, um, Kauri's jab is actually landing more consistently. Because if, if your foot is inside the opponent's lead foot, your, your lead shoulder is nearer to their face. Uh, shorter distance to travel for the punch as well. Say for a first timer in the ring, Kathy does does look very composed, which is always a sign of good coaching and also a good fighter. Oh yeah, definitely. She's taking she's taking the outside angle very consistently. You can, I'm pretty sure that's what they worked on. Yeah, just in the longer, yeah, she's a, she's a little bit eager to punch and she opens herself up a little bit. Kauri has been very good with those counter punches, hasn't she? Oh yes, definitely. She's very, very composed, very balanced. Because she's all, always balanced, right? That's why she's always in a position to counter. So you don't need to reset your feet every time you want to throw. You can just throw whenever. Very nice again. Cathy is a bit. Cathy is a little bit over eager to punch. When she, when, she, when she wants to punch, like you can see it coming from quite far away. Oh, yes, yes. Like she lowers hands and starts loading up. forward a little bit to sort of bait Cathy to punch and then she threw back. It's working so far, all the baits. As you say, Cathy has been eager to punch. How do you overcome that? How do you overcome being like, baited into fakes like that? In, in general, I would say uh, what you want to do is not be reactive. You punch when you want to punch, not when, you know, you, it seems like your opponent wants you to punch. So what you want to do is when people bait you to punch, you yourself faint, fake as if you're going to do the punch, then they will counter, then you counter their counter. So that's the end of the second round of the first ladies bout of the day here at Legends Sparring Invitational 2. Katie Nabla in the red corner and Kaori Furusawa in the blue corner. Guys, I'm very impressed with the technique, the level of technique and also the exchanges these two ladies have been throwing in the ring so far. Oh yeah, same, definitely. Although, um, you know, although, although their, uh, their records, um, their experience is not super high, but they are fighting a lot better than their experience um, duration suggests. I think it's good to note that also both corners seems to be very experienced giving out precise instructions to both their fighters, keeping their keeping their fighters calm, focus on the technique. You know, this is what a good corner man should be like, right? Iris? Yes, yes, true. Uh, I think the corner man uh, in the blue corner is Christian. Uh, he'll be having his fight in bout number 20 actually. He's the head coach of the club uh, at Elite. All right, let's see if the ladies can keep up the pace and showing us some good boxing in the third round of the first ladies' bout here on Legends Sparring Invitational Team. One thing I'm pretty impressed by is the fitness, the fitness from both ladies. The activity has not stopped for all three rounds. Really high pace, really high cardio, really high stamina. This must be really impressive to you too, fans. Yes, definitely. Uh, this is a good fight, I think, compared to some of the fights today. The guys, I think, they are on par with some of the boys' fights. Oh, this is, this is definitely already better than some of the yeah, guys' fights, yeah, I think. <laughs> I think from the camera, you can see that the focus on both of the, of, of the ladies. They are really focused on the fight, taking their time at times. Katie's no longer that eager to punch, I think. Yes. Conorman 
on her side has been telling her not to eat up most of those beets and fakes. Do you think it's working so far, Brian? Yeah, definitely better. One of um one, one thing I would like her to do also is to sort of move ahead a little bit more when she's punching. Um, a lot of a lot of Kauri's punches, like she's uh, she does, she isn't really exactly aiming them, but she knows where Kathy's head will be and she's just throwing in that general area. Kauri, on the other hand, is she's just waiting for the counters. Yeah, see there, nice one again. She's she's perfectly happy to punch an imperfect punch as long as it lands. Good exchange there by both ladies. Yeah, good good of her to swing her in the clinch also. Clinch wrestling is actually a really underrated thing in boxing. A lot of people don't do it nowadays. But back back in the day, right, a lot of boxers are actually like hire wrestlers to help to help them with like clinch work. Good body shot there by Howard. This is the third round. The ladies will want to leave everything in the ring. You can see the level of activity has increased on both sides. It's amazing like how it's in the third round and their level of activity and their fitness level is still up there. Yeah, it's still putting in the effort. These rounds are flying by and it's like it just started. Yes, yes, yes. It's a very good foundation to have, right? The fitness. Fitness is the key to everything. You can have your plans but you don't have fitness, you can't execute it. Yeah. No matter how good you are when you're tired, you're tired. Very consistent with Kauri. You see, she throws a straight right, cuts underneath it. It is hanging in there. Very nice. See, she's the chaining, she's chaining her. Yeah. Amazing. She's chaining. She's very nice. She's chaining her punches with her uh, weight movement very well. Punch, duck, hook, duck. And that's the end of the bout. Really good fight between the two ladies. You can see there's a round of applause. For both fighters here in the ring, that's the first time that we had a round of applause. <laughs> so there must be some very impressive stuff. You are watching Legends Sparring Invitational 2. We'll be right back after this.